Hi, and thank you for being here today. I'm Christina, and I'm here with two gentlemen that um, have experience in the German industry as well as the American industry. Will you please introduce yourself and briefly describe your background? Hello, my name is Philip von Mueller. I'm from Germany. I worked for the Lufthansa Airlines for 16 years. Now I'm residing in the United States, working for the hotel industry here in America. I'm Ilya Angelovsky. I'm coming from Macedonia. I used to work all over Europe. One of the countries I used to was Germany. And I'm here with uh, my dear friend uh, Christina to do this interview. Thank you. Um, can you please describe some traditional uh, differences in culture, from German culture and American culture? We find that in Germany, more perfection in work habits. We find also that uh, Germany strives on perfection in all areas, from tourism to work habits to hotels. The United States is more relaxed in their approach, but we find that they do a great job over here too, and we're very happy to be working here. I agree with uh, my colleague, uh, Filippo. <laughs> um, what are some traditional German greetings? Are they the same in Germany as they are in America? Is it customary for me to reach out my hand and introduce myself? Uh, in Europe, everybody usually kisses on both cheeks. It's a sign of warmth and gratitude for meeting the person. In Germany, we pride ourselves in that way. But in the business world, we shake hands very often because it's a strong bond in the business world to shake a hand with a good person that you're doing your work with. Very well said. Okay, and how has the transition from the German marks to the Euro affect the hotel industry? I think my friend Ilya knows more about the economy and the marketplace for that yeah, question. What happened when uh, they switch uh, from uh, Deutsche Mark uh, marks to Euro, I used to be there at the time. If I remember well, it used to be two, two Deutsche Mark per Euro. And uh, I think they hurt the business because uh, it uh, became uh, 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 more expensive. You know when when people start paying in euro, and uh, as a result of that, we had reduction in the in the tourism uh, industry. Plus, the, uh, the surcharges and the fees and exchanging the money from the euro to the giant watch money it was a, it was a kind of a slap in the face for the tourist industry because it was costing you money to change your money to visit our country in Germany. The United States has a good grip on that, a very good grip on it. Christina, thank you. <laughs> What role did the World Tourism Organization play in the hotel industry? Well, the hotel industry uh, all over the world is a very important, very important venue for business travelers, tourism, and it creates a very big amount of the economy in this world. You cannot survive in the business world without hotels, you cannot survive in the tourism uh, world without hotels. So you have to have a well-run uh, chain of hotels throughout the world interconnected with their policies and their tariffs so everybody can understand that it is a very important business. And what, what do you need in order to work in Germany? Is there anything special that you need to work in Germany? Julia, what do you say on that? Same like here. You have to have a work permit or you have to be a citizen of the European Union in order for you to, to work legally in Germany. Otherwise, you won't be able to work there. So. It's necessary to have the proper papers always in the European countries because there are so many people visiting from other countries. When I was with the Panzer Airlines, we had many people that wanted to apply, but you needed the proper identification, cedulas, papers, whatever you want to call them. They were strict about, strict about this. Right. Know? And it's like, important. And I'm sure here in America it is very important too. Okay. Um, can you speak briefly about some ethical issues in Germany? The ethical things in Germany, you see, people over there are more responsible. Like, like when I work in uh, the States, I realize people call sick and they're not sick. Over there, they won't do that. For them, it would be shame if they're not really sick to call sick and don't go to work. They're very responsible people, and they are workers. So I think there's a difference in the, in the ethics between uh, here and there. I think. When speaking of ethics, it's very important to respect your job, your workplace, and the people you work with. And in Germany and the rest of Europe, there's a very common sense of respect for all of that. Well, here in this country, there's respect too. You can't doubt that at all. But it seems to be a little bit more lackadaisical among some of the lower end employees, what you call the blue collar employees here. But it's a very good country to work in this country. It provides you everything. Yeah. And you have a reason to be happy with your work. Definitely. Well, thank you, and I appreciate your um, um, 
what would you say for our company going over into Germany and opening up a hotel industry? Are you, would you be for it or against it? I think that it's a great opportunity for you in America to take the hotel chain of your choice and go there and open up. You must remember that in Germany we pride ourselves in perfection. So you stay perfect and you never have a problem. Yes, I agree with you. And I think you do well now, especially with this uh, exchange rate. The dollar is uh, low, euro is high. And I think you, you maximize your profit based on that. So I think it's a good idea. Great. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank so you for having us. Thank you. It's always a yes. pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you so much. And cut.